In this video, I will show you how to download and install InfluxDB on Windows 11. It also works on Windows 10, so follow this step-by-step -step tutorial. First of all let's look how to download InfluxDB. For this open any web browser in an address bar type InfluxDB download and press enter. You will get this Influx Data Downloads link pointing to official website of InfluxDB. Click on it. If you get accept cookies pop up click on I accept button. Then leave the version as it is, as it will display the latest version at the top. Under platform select Windows Binaries 64 bits PowerShell option. Then you will get wget command as shown here. Then copy this command in notepad for reference. You can see that we are installing InfluxDB in the program files directory located inside the C drive. Now, go to search, type PowerShell, and select run as administrator to run PowerShell with administrative privileges. Then copy down this command and paste it in PowerShell. After pasting down command just press enter. It may take some time to install the InfluxDB on your system. If you get this again press enter. Now go to following path and you will get influxdb.exe there. Now we will open command prompt in this location. Here type following and press enter. This will run InfluxDB server. If you get this click on allow. This will open InfluxDB server at 8086 port. So go to browser and type localhost 8086 and press enter. This will open InfluxDB initiator page. Click on get started button. Now provide username, new password, company name and bucket name and click on continue. Now click on quick start and start using InfluxDB. For now, InfluxDB is accessible and starts from this location only. If you want to start it from anywhere, you need to set it in the environment variables, as shown here. In this environment variable path we have to set the path of InfluxDB.exe as shown here. Now we can start InfluxDB from anywhere by simply typing InfluxDB as shown here. You can see InfluxDB server has been started again. Also we can access localhost 8086 port again as shown here. Hope you like this. Please like share and subscribe for similar videos. Also click on bell icon so that you will not miss any update.